It has been 40 years, or at least it feels that way because my ISP is apparently on strike. I had a video that I was going to upload, but there was so much good feedback and so many changes that people suggested that I went completely back to the first episode and I'm re-recording it today. So without further ado, welcome to Ungus and Chuck in On Generations. Thank you to everybody for all of the incredible feedback. Here is a list of things that I've already changed, fixed, and adjusted. Every complaint, every broken thing that people have found so far have been totally solved. More importantly, there were some really good suggestions about things like research. So to that extent, I've added this, 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 and this, and maybe one of these, maybe one of these as well. I don't remember how many research mods I've added. So instead of us just picking research from a selection of semi-random research, we have to really put the effort in. We have to, dare I say it, Ungus Bungus, think with our big, round, wrinkly brains. So before we begin a long, hard day of thinking good We've got to talk about the settlement name. And I shouldn't really be surprised with some of the outcomes. It was it was pretty obvious what was going to happen. Half of the suggestions were name it after Admiral Gujon, our, our long forgotten companion, and name it after Ungus Bungus. So, of course, I have named the faction Gujon. Uh, and I think the reason for that is when they had visitors visiting, maybe Ungus pointed at the ground and said, Gujon, Gujon. For the faction, we have just named it Bungus. Because, of course, we have Ungus Bungus. He's about to marry Chuck Rock, who's going to change her name to... Uh, Chuck Bungus. And right on cue there, little baby Bungus is on the way very shortly. I'm going to combine a lot of the suggestions because so many people suggested different paths we could take Bungus. So we could have Bungus. Then when we build a castle, we call it Bungusburg. Then Bungusturn. Neo New Bungusturn, I think somebody said for the Ultra Tech era, which is fantastic. And between that and I think every broken thing being fixed, like for example, not being able to stuff hay in Bungus's dirty hole, in theory, we are good. So now, my friends, let me tell you, you have never seen a thinking spot like this before. We have the Research Reinvented mod, which allows us to go out there and examine things that already exist. Ongus need figure out how to build passive cooler. Ongus look at other things Ongus has built. Ongus build table gives Ongus a little bit of experience. Chuck look at log. Chuck understand build better. A uh, waken shrat. I don't know what the hell that is. An ancient shrat has been angered due to the cutting of great trees. Be sure not to anger it. How is that my fault? <laughs> <laughs> Is that something I have to worry about? Oh, the flash storm lit the forest on fire, and apparently that's woken up some sort of horrifying ancient guardian that's going around fighting everything. Oh, well, that's good. We've got a sharp stick and a boomerang called terrorist. So I think we're, uh, I think we're all right. And not only can we look at log we build, we can look at log... Well, other log. Wow, I've made such an action-packed series, haven't I? My god. We can look at logs for fuel. We can look at logs for building. There's a lot of logs staring, okay? Then this feature is really cool. We can also talk to other factions to understand uh, more about how to build it, which I think is such a such a cool idea. And then the final thing suggested by all you lovely people in the comments, I promise we're going to start soon. I promise this is the only important thing left, was the research data mod. And I'm going to get my good friend Ungus to throw that together. Wasn't super sure on this because it does effectively gate research behind steel. So I might change the recipe to just be like stone or something like that instead for the simple research bench. This lets you collect research samples effectively using things like organic and, and metal and fabric and blah, blah, blah. You turn that into research paper and then effectively your research benches are fueled with, well, with research papers. Chuck and Ungus will learn how world work. This very much might be too many steps for research, but we'll see how it goes and I can always balance it as time goes by. Maybe we make research much faster to make up for the fact that we have to do so much crap in the interim. Now, I'm pretty sure Chuck can do it. We just have to make her a good crafter. Uh, yeah, there you go. So she'll take organic stuff. In this case, she's got some delicious fungal weevil eggs. Oh my God. The fungal weevils are already contributing to the betterment of society. And then several hours later, she'll make some organic samples and you can turn those samples directly into research papers, which I think we should probably do until maybe we've got always 10 in storage. With that, we refuel our thinking spot. Oh God. We've gone too far with the thinking spot, haven't we? And then the research can continue. Very nice. And it's that simple. I mean, it's not simple at all. It's quite a long process. But now I feel like we're actually going to be building an empire. You know, we're going to be building a proper society. Hello there, a musical trader. Oh, this could be a nice way to get some early recreation. For God's sake, Giles. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they were a musical trader, but I didn't expect that type of music. <laughs> Friends from the Fey tribe, it is Ungus Bungus here to buy 
all of your things. What have they got? They've got loot. Oh, I feel like we've got to buy a loot, right? Oh, and they've also got some medicine too. Now, I have included uh, the Arcane Technology mod. Big good feedback from a lot of people saying that. They were able to trade with traders early on because we obviously got Ultra Tech factions on the planet buy a big gun. I don't like that. It feels a bit weird. Iron Reed flew. Oh my god, we could start a whole band. Oh, oh, a harp instead. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Hey, I like that. Thank you very much. How terribly kind. What do we do with it? I don't know. I don't know what we do with it, to be honest with you. It's useless in battle, but passively increases the wielder's artistic skill. Ah, research project required is primitive metallurgy because it's made of steel. He doesn't know how to use the harp. So you remember how yesterday I joked about the fact that we don't know geometry? Yeah, it turns out there's uh, the Research Reinvented Stepping Stones mod that has you actually invent lateral thinking, um, which I think is directly what I criticized him for not knowing, and also things like organization. So this makes it even more progressive. Makes it feel like you've really got to develop from nothing at all. <gasps> Strange, tallest of the green gobs feels the need to send us a taunting message. Stakes he set up an outpost. The goblins are spreading around the planet. Magic Skyrock. Oh, it's too far away. Well, we have a tradition of worshipping any rocks that fall from the sky here. Because I imagine if you are Ungus Bungus, that would be uh, horrifying. It'd be very, very frightening to see. But it's a bit far away, but I, th I think we can ignore it. This is great. This is a great change. Oh, look at them. Working on the berries, figuring out how they work, why they rot when they do. And then from there, we get ourselves a lovely passive cooler. Chox, Perg, and Ancy progress from the second to the third trimester. Are we prepared for this? We're absolutely not prepared for this. Do we even have, like, cribs or any sort of basic furniture for this child? Oh, well, that's no use, is it? On Earth is this? Oh, my God, we've also got an arms dealer from Union Aerospace. I'm afraid I don't think I can afford anything you're selling. A 21-year-old war chief named Val is calling from nearby. He says a pack of two man-hunting Jura Venators are hunting him. He begs for safety and offers to join you at Bungus. Well... Honestly, I think we could take on two of they do sound very dinosaur like with a name like that I think we could probably I think we could probably handle that after all We've got a boomerang called terrorism. Val joins Val. Hello, and of course we've got this aerospace trader here Val are you any good is probably a better question. Hello there. What on earth are you? Oh my god It's a spider person. Oh, that's horrifying. Hello. Nice to see you long jump blood feed venomous bite web shot Apparently you've also bought some drugs with you. That's good Bone knife, patch leather, combat armor. Ah, oh, hello. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Psychopath athletic. Proudly. What is proudly? Val as a hero bathed in glory. Oh, whoa. Psychic includes all. You've got all of the melee skill and you are apparently a, a Goliath Arachna. Very spooky. Really, really hate that. Just so you know, I don't like that at all. That's making me very... Ah, uh, Oh, uh, it's so weird. Oh, God. Oh, it's so horrible. I kind of wish I'd never taken on a spider person. Hello, how you looking? Are they frightening? Oh, they're easy. A little dinosaur fella. Hopefully these arms dealers will will sort it out for us. They seem to have got it under control. Ooh, and Val apparently got the other one. I didn't even bloody see it. I was too busy paying attention to the arms dealer. Great, nice to see you. That's just horrible. That's just horrible. You can't, you can't live here. We're going to have to build a separate house for you. Oh, my God, Ungus. Wait, what, what happened to the seagull? What happened to the seal? Who dug up the grave? Why would they have dug up the grave? More importantly, bloody Ungus has forgotten how to build walls, you friggin' idiot. Oh, for Christ's sake, that'll be the research that we need then to get walls back. <laughs> oh my god, Ungus just grew another brain cell. Level 4 intellectual. I'm gonna balance the research as we play, because if we're putting in all this extra effort and more importantly, all the extra resources into making sure that we can actually do the research in the first place. I feel like it should go faster, not slower, right? And we've immediately been hit with malaria. How dare you? Oh, it's Chuck. Oh, God, sweet Chuck. Please go rest. Go rest. I'm make sure bed rest is a high priority for everybody because we are totally doomed with things like malaria. In fact, you are our doctor too. Oh, balls. Okay, what have we got in terms of medicine? And I've just been chucking everything in the dirty hole. Apparently, we had some medicine from somewhere. What the hell is Heart of the Forest? This is the problem with just our little cave people hoarding everything. Sphere of Life Energy. Still feeding few writhing vines. Oh, that's lovely. I don't know what that is, but I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm sorry that happened. 63%. She'll probably be okay. I will admit, it's not the nicest of hospital. Especially not with the enormous spider person and the big ox. You can prototype. Yeah, there we go. We can build prototypes of items when we're like halfway through the research. Ungus, could you slap one of those down? Because your heavily pregnant wife has malaria and she's in a house that is 40 degrees C. A little bit warm. Okay, didn't build it perfectly. That's the downside of it being a prototype. But there you go. That works pretty good. Nobody is going to die. Because if they die, this is going to send Ungus down a dark path that might determine the rest of our... 
the rest of our civilization. We might become horribly sadistic pirate raiders. Totally very normal behavior. That's absolutely disgusting. Can't even sleep in the same room as an enormous spider. So I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, Sue. I mean, maybe they're, they're simple-minded people, okay? They're simple-minded people just living their life. They don't know what's really going on. Maybe they've never even seen a spider before. God damn you to hell. I can't believe I'm about to say this. The whole point of the series is for me to play mods that I don't normally play. I've disabled semi-random research. I know. I know. It feels like I'm missing a limb. But when the research is so divided that you need to invent lateral thinking, it makes things a bit hard. So I think... Well, I, I mean, we will in a second anyway. I think we've got enough going on without muddying the water anymore. Let's go for it. Let's focus down. Because we've still got to do a load of other stuff too, right? Even though right now I haven't even got walls, it would make it very difficult if we ended up re-rolling into fire and agriculture and range weapons and melee weapons rather than walls. So I'm fine with this. I think this is a nice, fresh start. Also, I hate Val and I want to get them out of the building as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Prototype construction ready bridge, column, exotic doors, fence, fence gates. Boom. Structures are done. Thank you. Please build this horrifying spider a house. I want them to be close, but not too close. Honestly, it makes sense if they're on the other side of the farms. So I think I'm going to do exactly that. There you go, freaky little spider. You only have chop rock capable of plant cussing. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, look, the malaria is fine. Okay, don't worry about the pregnancy. Don't worry about the malaria for the timing. I know you got a lot on your plate. We need someone to chop down this tree. Diplomatic marriage. Word of Val's charm has reached noise. And they've asked you for Val's hand in marriage. Except in this marriage proposal will cement relationships and strengthen faction ties. But Val will leave your faction and join the Fae. Oh, man. Uh, that is kind of cool, though. <laughs> uh, uh, I do like you, giant spider, but you also kind of freak me out a little bit. I'm going to marry you off to a fairy. Look, I've got to do things I would never do before. And I'm sensible me is thinking, hey, they're a great fighter. So I want to keep them around. But you know what? God damn it. Ungus and Chuck don't know what's happening. Okay? They don't understand what's going on. The fairy has sent us a message. Val reads it. Val disappears. Everybody's happy. But they're not really sure why. Look at that. We're now allied to the Fae. That's so cool. Goodbye, Val. Thank you for joining us very briefly. Now it's just Ungus, Chuck, their unborn child, and a bunch of weevils. I do still want to pick research that makes sense, right, for what we're doing. Medicinal herbs would be pretty good, because Ungus has to sit there and watch poor sweet Chuck be very, very unwell. He might want to try and invent something. Or, or we invent a bed, and actually that might make more sense. Where is, where is like, furniture, though? I'm just going to type in bed, and let's see what comes up. I've accelerated chemical reaction furnace a little bit early for that. Hospital bed... Simple furniture? Apparently, we already have. Furniture. Hello, that'll do it. Think, damn you, Ungus Bungus, think. Ah! No, 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 we're not ready yet. Drop terrorism. Ungus, go and help her! For God's sake, you weird man. Don't panic, we've got Dr. Ungus. God, we're doomed, aren't we? We are absolutely doomed. I mean, to be fair, it was this or an enormous eight-foot spider, so I think your friend... Attending childbirth standing. Ongus, I don't know how to tell you this, big man. You need to get in there and help out. He's just like cowering in his dirty hole. <laughs> Ongus, no understand. Are you seriously just going to stand there for a good eight hours? My man. <laughs> He's lost his mind. Have you got stuck? Ongus, did you get stuck in the dirty hole? You're going to miss the birth of your first child. <gasps> Baby Bungus. Baby Bungus is born. She shot it right across the room. The baby has been given the temporary name Baby Bungus. I don't think I want to change the name Baby Bungus. Catherine Bungus? I'm gonna... You know what? Let him cook. I, I want to get something nice. Jenny Bungus? Justin Bungus? <laughs> it was pretty good, though. Marie Bungus? Wendy Bungus? Wave. Wave Bungus. And their nickname can be... Disaster! Oh shit, that's so good. Wow. Wave Bungus. I am a big fan of that one, thank you. Um I look, put disaster somewhere safe. Where are you gonna put them? Where exactly you're just gonna move them slightly over to the side of the room. Amazing, thank you. You could clean that up. I mean, or just sleep on it. I mean whatever floats your boat, really. These people are so stupid. We've got so far to go. Oh, hello! We got visitors. This is from the Eastborn Empire. Whoa. Hello there. They got them, they got them weeb swords. To be honest, this baby being called Disaster is absolutely perfect, given that I've got absolutely nowhere to put you, and I was totally unprepared. I'm just gonna prioritize Ongus to do some more researching. Hopefully that'll give us some sort of crib. If I type in crib, if I try and type in crib, advanced scribe table. No, Brotherhood Equipment, simple furniture. 
Primitive, primitive production, primitive storage carrier birds. Oh dear. But look, we might not have the base game stuff, but there is something added called a tribal. I almost typed in tribal crab. We can't do that two series in a row. Sorry, primitive storage. Primitive production. I was going to say, technically, storage isn't wrong. I'll put that baby, baby disaster somewhere. <laughs> what the hell did the Eastbourne Empire think when they turned up? Ungus is stuck in the dirty hole. His wife is inside screaming, and they've got a field of. A field of mushroom insects. Now we've got frigging space marines. Hello. Bear in mind, I have added the mod. I thought that was a tiny little man. Good lord, look at the muscles on you. This whole experience is a fever dream. Hello. Bear in mind, we can't buy anything from them, though, because uh, we're locked to research, right? We could buy a gun, but we wouldn't know how to use it. So it was a bit of a waste. Longus and Chuck chats about clubs and maces. Oh, they want to militarize a little bit. I think we could do something like that. Chuck amused disaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are totally out of fuel. Although we've got plenty of berries. You could start like harvesting the berries there. Chuck, no pressure. Ooh, and a little bit of story here. Prissy, a child valet, is calling from nearby. She's been charged with spreading anti-corporate sentiment among the works of a mechanoid factory owned by the corporation. She's being hunted by a strike breaker squad. She wants to join you at Bungus. If we accept, she'll gain 15 or will gain 15 goodwill with the cyberpunks. Um... I'll be honest, the mech link, the components of signal chips, we don't know what that is. We, and I mean, this makes sense that she would want to hang out here, because why the hell would anybody check in this absolute dump for a uh, quote-unquote cyberpunk? You have more babies than cribs. Yes, one. One baby. I'm well aware. Now we've got lateral thinking. Can I set up a schedule for them? Because I hate the fact they're standing around all day while their baby is on the floor. You're going to say like a little bit of work. It's like a little bit. We're not going to go too crazy with it. Chuck obtained pessimist. No. The time Chuck spent fighting the deadly illness. Oh my God, she got over malaria, but she became a pessimist. So many bad things happened in a row. Giant spider turns up. She gave birth and then her husband got stuck in the hole while she was while she was Pergonen in like the dirty hole outside. And then the, uh, the horribly ill with malaria. Maybe there isn't nothing good in this world. God, that's so sad. Why are we off to such a horrible start? She is also an undergrounder, so she's very much out of her element here. Well, foraging for resources, Chuck found a goose egg. Oh, God! And an angry goose. You just stole the goose's egg. Did it just peck your eye out? What the hell happened? Oh, she's got dirt in her eyes. God damn you. Ungus, we got a feral goose here because Chuck just tried to steal some goose eggs. Oh, you actual fool. Start running, start running, start running. Please don't die to a goose. I would never forgive you. Please, for God's sake, kill the goose. Thank you. Oh, we could start a goose farm. Hey, that might not be a terrible idea. No, I mean, clearly they understand how to rear animals. This could be quite good. I don't normally do animal farming because it's a massive pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, like self ten though. I'm just going to make sure that we're not going to use these goose eggs anyway. We also need to go get some more fuel for the bloody fire because we're totally out again. Man, this is a nightmare. Who could have predicted that the thing standing against us and building beds would be a freaking goose? What do you, is it just like egg fertilized? Goose egg, goose egg. Why did that not show up when I typed in goose? Chuck, where's the baby? Why did you, Chuck, for God's sake? We need this crib. I can't trust these people. Put disaster somewhere safe. There's man hunting geese out there. You are a fool. Put the baby indoors, Chuck. Is this allowed? Is this meta gaming? Because I don't want them to leave the bloody baby outdoors. They haven't invented safe children yet. What are you singing for? It's midnight. Oh, I hate these people. <laughs> They're so stupid. Oh, me find goose eggs. Oh, I wonder why this goose is so angry and is trying to tear my eyes out. More. Why are you awake? You are very hungry. Go go have a snacky. Okay, she's finally totally over the malnutrition. So now we can really start getting some research going, given that that's kind of her. I wouldn't say it's her strong suit. I wouldn't say that any sort of thing is her strong suit, given that she uh, put her baby outdoors twice. Wait. Wait. We can't feed the baby. Uh, time goes so much faster, right? So she, she's not lactating anymore. The baby's already one year old. Shit. How do we feed the baby? Well, have I got to research baby food? Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is making perfect sense, right? That it's taking them a year to research how to build proper, decent, good beds. That That's perfect. It, it's bang on. Hey, the problem is I'm going to eat freaking food for baby disaster. So aptly named. Oh, we got to invent fire first. Oh, you freaking idiot. Okay. Ongus bongus invent fire. Ongus bongus invent food preparation. Luckily, it's like 50 research between them. I haven't invented maths, okay? I know that's wrong. Chuck, go and help out with the research. For Christ's sake, your baby is going to starve. Did that rocks just brainstorm with us? What happened there? The rocks is whispering us the secrets of furniture. 
<laughs> I've lost control. You all thought the mod pack was going to break down. No, no, no. The mod pack's the most stable thing about this freaking series. Let me tell you. Boom. He's actually done it. Invent bed. Okay, new thing. Uh, invent fire. And then uh, just for my own benefit here, let's go invent food for baby. For baby. Perfect. I'm thinking this will just be like super, super quick. I'm actually going to force him to stay awake and invent food for their child. Even this is quite slow. Oh, God. Please hurry. Ooh. What happened? They just brainstormed. Oh, they talked it out. That's so good. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to force you to stay awake here. Good God. Okay. We've, we've invented fire. And now food preparation. Chuck, what are you doing? Going for a walk. My, my brother in Christ, your baby is starving on the floor. Please come and invent food. Oh, this thinking spot. This thinking spot's already being put through its paces. I think we can cook it now. I mean, clearly we can. But I think when their prototypes have got a higher chance of food poisoning. Look, it's that or nothing for this baby. So I don't really have a choice here. I'll cut out for this caveman lifestyle. I'll prioritize analyzing the cauldron. How about you analyze these nuts? Cook your baby some fucking food. Okay? For God's sake, it's been on the floor for three days. <laughs> oh, well, technically it's been on the floor for a year. <laughs> It's a hard life being a caveman. And you don't even have a cave anymore. So they're, they're totally out in the open here. Hello. Uh, engineer Ario Eridos of the Engineer Guild needs people to help harvest crops. You want a person. I can't. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. Even if you are going to offer me Luxembourg, the Aerofleet person. What the hell is taking so long? Please, your baby hasn't eaten a meal in a year. Please hurry it up. Oh, Shit. Is this going to affect their learning? Is this going to stunt their growth? Are we going to have a generation that's successively stupider than the last one? That would be impressive. Oh, because she's prototyping. Of course. Um, Feed the baby. No baby edible food. Well, then what the fuck did you just cook, my brother? What the hell is that? You're cooking yourself lavish meals? What about the baby? The rocks, did the rocks just immediately eat the baby food? I feel like I'm losing my mind. What did she do with the baby food, though? Hey, baby... I think, I think the random chance mod overwrote the baby food with lavish meals. Like, you got a free upgrade. Hey, uh, except I need baby food in this situation. Ongus, I need you to wake up. Even the baby food I'm cooking is coming out too lavish. I mean, you DJ Khaled. Okay, we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Okay. So in theory, hang on, let's cancel that. Let's just go make baby food. Just like do it as fast as possible. I don't need bulk baby food. Well, I mean, I do, but not right now. Yes, the baby's crying. I wonder why that is, you idiots. Okay. And boom, baby food. There it is. We can all see that, right? Ugh, the mod pack's broken. The mod pack is fine. The mod pack's fine. The people are broken. Feed the baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoever that is, it's taken years off my life. And all I've had to do is build a bed and think up the floor and invent baby food. But look at this. We can build walls now. We can build walls. Royal Column seems a bit weird that that's that early on. But uh, you know what? Fair enough. Hey, let's make some... What? I thought you invented like a crib. You not invent a crib? Crib? Oh, no, that was under the, the other bloody research, wasn't it? Ah, uh, primitive production. So for that, we need simple apparel. It, it's 20, okay? It's, it's 20 research. That'll take no time at all. Primitive production being 300 will take a lot longer. Luckily, we've already got some furniture to analyze, which should help speed things up. I've never been more invested in keeping a colony going than I have been right here. That's good. Yeah, nice one. Uh, that's great. Hey, uh, once you're done researching the torture crowns, Maybe, fella, you could invent somewhere to put your child. And you know what? Maybe even yourself. I know that's asking a lot. Good morning. It's your kind friend, me. I made it so the research bench is now only built out of wood. You're welcome. That's my kind gift to you. Because, of course, if you're updating the mod pack midway through, and then all of a sudden, oh, I haven't got any steel yet because I haven't invented how to get steel, and there's no steel on the map, I've got to trade with people for it, that might be a bit of a pain in the ass. I am, as always, your humble, humble servant. Hey, uh, why don't you be my humble servant? Move that baby out of the way. You, have you not been feeding your baby again? Please, friggin' feed the baby. What's wrong with you? I did set childcare to maximum priority. I guess it's because they keep starting, like, really long-term jobs. But even then, it's just, it's just negligence. We need to invent... What's the opposite of negligence? What's the rocks that ate the baby food? I knew I wasn't going mad. Oh, my God, you just ate 17 baby food. <laughs> He's a hungry boy. Um, Maybe we've got a dirty pit in the house and we fill it with, like... Like meals, like like meals and baby food and stuff that we actually want. I'll let her finish uh, feeding the baby. And then I was going to say eating the baby then. We'll get you to chop a tree. And then we're going to build another dirty hole in the house. I've set the rocks not to go in the house. But I didn't assume they would just be chucking baby food on the floor. That's my bad. Okay. I'm truly enjoying our meals. They're abundant, tasty, and varied. 
yeah, the rocks is thinking the same thing, strangely enough. Let's go ahead and slap all those indoors. No more baby food for the rocks. This is what I was saying earlier. It's a problem with a dirty hole. I just can't keep track of where everything is. We need to start putting things on shelves. Dare I say it? That'll probably be another 40 years before we can research that. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You son of a bitch. I haven't got anywhere to store the first baby. And now you're having a second one. It's just totally irresponsible, isn't it? To be fair, they don't know what they're doing. They have no idea. My brother in Christ, what other colonists? Chatted with Chuck about what, what your own child? Maybe they just don't understand that's how that works, huh? Maybe they just haven't pieced it together yet. I mean, I think Chuck probably understands. But Ungus has no idea. Bear in mind, he was stuck outside in the dirty hole for... The entire labor. Ungus reached level five intellectual. This feels like when when in sport they they grow the larger brains. Listen, I understand animals in nature have a have a concept of progeny. Okay, I'm not. I I was I was undermining Ungus for the purposes of humor. I was admonishing him because he's a frigging idiot. Though to be fair, I can't imagine many animals in nature would be happy just to chuck their baby outside. Their defenseless baby where uh, an enormous but very friendly but very clumsy rocks hangs out. Put the baby next to the flake? <laughs> Surprised nobody's just tried that yet. I mean, you, you could. You don't need any research to smoke flake. And any moment now, happy second birthday disaster. Two solid years of lying on the floor. What a great life you've had. Oh... Oh, well, I mean, that's nice. They are having a good time. Even though Chuck is a pessimist, she's kind of keeping it together. And nobody's had any breakdowns yet. They're living a very simple life. What are the moods like? Extremely low expectations. Got some loving. Disaster was born healthy. Not that you would know because he was stuck outside in the dirty hole. They're upset because the population is low, which, I mean, that makes sense. How's Chuck doing? Chuck Rock, even though she's a pessimist and she's got like a lot going on there. I'm pregnant and not very happy about it. Well... You know, maybe you can figure things out. Maybe you could try and work out why that keeps happening. They're just so happy to be around one another that actually it's all kind of cancelling out. We do need to invent some recreation soon before you both go absolutely nuts. I mean, we could build... We can apparently build one of these, but I feel like it's uh, it's a little early for that. Unless well, a gathering to celebrate Ongus and Chuck's marriage. Oh my god. They have invented marriage. Chuck, when you're quite ready. Hold on, she's got to finish these research papers. Okay, she's got a single track mind. Look at this. Oh, this is so nice. It's a shame that their only guest is the rocks, and even the rocks isn't really that interested. But that's all they need is one another. They've got through some tough times together. Malaria, a goose attack, an enormous spider person. Just two people living in the moment. This is this is so wholesome. For now, eventually we'll get some raiders turning up and they'll probably kill us dead. But for now, this is very wholesome. Colonists are celebrating the occasion the same way they celebrate everything by walking around. Because, you know, we have no recreation. And again, I know we can build these, but it feels a bit weird. It feels a bit too early. And of course, the good part is that's going to give them the marriage and the honeymoon phase, which is going to keep them super, super happy forever. Hey, it's a disaster. Oh, parents are happy. Boo nu ba boo 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 no go solo. Oh Jesus! Disaster! I'm so sorry. You're gonna be such a, a, a such a maligned child. This has been a horrible childhood. Oh shit! Why did I have to open my stupid mouth? It is the introductory raid. It's one person. And in fact, I'm not even sure they bought a weapon. I guess they're just here to scout us out, see what's going on. Fungus, bring the frog. Chuck, bring the terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> Just as we were about to get our furniture breakthrough as well, but you can't win them all. You know what? Intimidation tactics. Ungus, mount rocks one. Yeah, try it. See what happens. You bring that shit here. You come unarmed when we've effectively got mounted cavalry. You're done for. You are absolutely done for. Wow, this is the worst fight I've maybe ever seen. Please don't hit Ungus Bungus. You love Ungus Bungus, remember? Please be careful that friggin' boomerang. Take a prisoner. Or decapitate with a sharpened stick. Maybe that works too. Maybe that works too. I feel like that might be the beginning of something horrible. You kill the scout, they never hear back. They might send a bigger squad to come and investigate. Hey, uh, where are you putting that though? Where did you put that body? Did they bury her? What the hell? You put her in a storage pit? What the hell did you do with her? Hey, take her out of there. You don't put people in the dirty hole. Now, burial practices have been a human thing going back uh, prehistoric times, okay? 
What are we going to do with the bones? Because in the ideology, they do have a funeral, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, somewhere down here, we have a sky burial. And you know what? That kind of makes sense. So you know what? Let's slap down a sky burial spot. We need 40 flint for it, though. But me being the big brain that I am made it so that you can smash anything and turn it into flint rather than just obsidian. Any rock chunks are viable. Apparently, even ice, which doesn't make much sense. But I also don't want to gate people from... You know, if you, for whatever mad reason, you do want to play a nice sheep playthrough, you should be allowed to do that. What are you doing? Shearing rocks one. Oh, they make wool. Oh, amazing. Well, that's pretty perfect timing because we might actually be able to do something with that. 160 wool out of that. Oh, my God. I wonder, can we build baby bed with that? Hold on. Oh, crib, crib, crib. Uh, what is it? Children learning? Why, why would crib be if not children and learning? Crib? Under bedroom. Ah, there it is. Primitive. Hey, crib. We need uh, two dark wood, five hay cloth, and 15 hay. So we're going to have to do a little bit of learning, but we can build a rocks wall bed for them. Holy shit, rocks one, you actual legend. We've got to make sure you keep being trained, though. I don't think we've got anybody good enough to do it. Oh, no, is it just going to turn wild eventually? We might have to go get some practice in. Ungus, this is the big victory of today, my friend. Bazinga. Look at how comfortable that is. Wowie. I couldn't think of anything worse to sleep on. You know what? Bring back the floor spot. I suppose it's warm, if nothing else. That's good. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm so glad this rocks came full circle to actually being able to help out. Tomorrow, why not craft a bed for the baby? Because three years on the floor, probably not great for development. And more importantly, Ungus, 28 years old. They're both the same age. So 28 and one day. Disaster, two years and 24 days. So two and a half years old now. Thank you for joining me. I might tweak the numbers a little bit. So, so like enemy death on down chance, of course, in, in Rimworld, there's that base chance that whenever an enemy is just downed, they'll instantly die. It's a bit shitty, and we do need to build a large colony, and we're going to need a lot of fresh blood here. Uh, otherwise, we're going to end up with a load of children from Ungus and Chuck that can't marry for fairly obvious reasons, and the whole colony is going to die out. So I'll see if I can tweak some numbers here, because we've been here quite a long time, even just by regular Rimworld, without the faster aging standards. 20 days without any new colonists. Granted, I sent one away, but we're not getting many opportunities for it, so... Let's take a look. Let's see what we can do. It's going to be a slow burn series, I admit. It's going to take a very long time for us to do anything major. But that, I think, also leads itself to the best characters. Because, I mean, how many of you would have thought in Generations 1 that years later, the name Arcadius, a random joiner who joined our first two colonists, would be remembered for the rest of time? Thank you, as always, of course, to the patrons for allowing this to exist in the first place. A big thank you to Zevin Wolf, Vash, Azazel, Validus, Blex, a box, this be Willis, Hecadim, Frogs and Pants, Christopher Peck, Stephen Allenson, Fake, Scorched, Mika, 91 Gearhead, Worker of Secrets, Sysore, Scotty, A Viking, The Cat Lover, 6366, or 666 maybe, depending on how spicy you're feeling, Dust, Tungsten Heart, Tempest, Underscore, Speedy, A Tubes, and the Link King for their support. The executive producer tears. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully going to get a lot of names in this series, so please very much stay tuned. Of course, the Patreon names list is always added as random factions across the world too, so you might just see your name pop up anyway. Maybe you two will have the honor of being speared by the frog. Thank you to Citatus Lingua, Snake Farts, Ravidus Argo, Europala84, Fatigable, Puka Boy, Evan Stockdale, Corrupt Racer, Banana Master, Mr. Yeti, Oliver, Hyrax, Syracus, Asgarin, Christine, Ryan Towers, Thomas DeSantis, Amazing Moosh, Bolplup, Richie B, 634, and Simon Ratcliffe as well. See you all tomorrow. Now my internet issues are solved.